Located just a block south of Yonker Street, the Baba Nonya Museum chronicles the lives of the Chinese merchants and traders in the Straits of Malacca. The museum consists of two levels and the tour begins with the formal quarters on the first floor, moves to the family area upstairs before returning downstairs again to view the common kitchen and dining areas. The tour commences in the foyer just off the street and visitors pass through the red curtain to the right to enter the house proper. The first room on the tour is the grand reception room where honored guests would be entertained and where the men negotiated the business of the house. Its symmetrical layout mirrors a Mandarin official's home in China during the Qing Dynasty. The silk embroidery on the south wall showcases the phoenix, the second of four supernatural creatures in Chinese symbolism. Next to the grand reception room is the dark hall. This was the furthest a young lady or nyonya could go in the house unaccompanied. The screens protected the young ladies from being seen from the street. They could, however, peer out through slits in the screens visible in the left of the photo. The lantern in the photo bears the name of the Chan family. The courtyard shown here is one of three air wells used for lighting, cooling, and ventilation. It is open to the sky. The rain that would fall signified wealth. From here, the tour leaves the formal area of the house and travels upstairs to the family quarters. The staircase shown here had a foldable roof that could be locked, thus preventing thieves from entering the private area, preventing children from venturing downstairs in the night, and preventing husbands from sneaking home late. A separate room to the left features the master bedroom and today features a bridal chamber, which would have been decorated by the older ladies of the house prior to a wedding ceremony. Also on display are the wedding costumes of the bride and groom. There was a room across the stairwell designed as a birthday and funeral showcase. The birthday showcase is shown here, which was a big celebration. For the birthday of the mistress of the house, she would don a baju tua, an imperial-like gown, and share her joy by giving out red Ang Pao packets to children and guests. This would be accompanied by a special meal featuring noodles, signifying longevity, rice balls and syrup, the sweetness of life, and eggs, celebrating fertility. The remainder of the upper floor is devoted to family entertainment. There is a small dining area, followed by a room for musical instruments and a display of silverware, followed by a game room with a Victrola record player, a mahjong table, and a case displaying porcelainware. From here, the tour descends to the stairs to tour the back half of the house. Just past the courtyard seen earlier is the Ancestral Hall, paying homage to ancestors of the Chan family, in accordance with the Chinese custom of filial piety. Prayers are said here, anniversary dates celebrated, particularly during the Hungry Ghost Festival. Next is the display of the Chao Thao, or hair combing ceremony, performed by the bride and groom in their respective homes before the actual wedding begins, a custom in Peranakan Chinese weddings. The dining room features the Pok Panjang, or long table, suitable to accommodate the entire family. Older members ate with their hands, while younger members may have adopted Western utensils. Dinner was served at exactly 7 p.m., and everyone was expected to attend. Typical fare would be duck soup, chicken or pork stew, perhaps with soybean paste, accompanied by fermented shrimp and chili paste. The kitchen was large, open, and situated next to the dining room. It was the heart of the home and featured two cooks. The main cook brought the fish from the market, and the second would prepare the ingredients and clean the fish, all overseen by the lady of the house. The tools of the kitchen are on display here, including an old ice cream maker, and the kitchen has two wood-fired stoves, one here and one in the back, for use during festive occasions.